In this iMovie tutorial, we're going to cover titles and how you can add titles on top of your movie and in beginning and end of sections. You can find titles in the content library, so right where the transition are. And similarly to transitions, you can preview each of the titles by scrubbing through them. So I'm just scrubbing through it, or else I can tap the space bar and then it will automatically go through that title. So I'm going to click this one and it'll just show all the titles. And then tap the space bar to turn that off. Now there are a range of titles here. There are some that uh, go in the middle of the, the movie, like this one. And then you've got some which are lower third, so they'll appear on the bottom. This one's a focus lower third. Some of them have got subtitles. So here you can, you can put um, a title and a subtitle. And as you go down towards the bottom, you've got some scrolling credits. So we go through that one. Scrolling credits. And you have some more fancy ones down here, if you like, some different types of things. Down here, different types of titles. Some ones that are a bit more snazzy, so boogie lights where you get some flashing lights and pixie dust. and Then some more elaborate lower thirds, uh, the Star Wars type of credits, if you like, or titles. And you know, there's different sorts. There's quite a lot here. So there's some quite simple ones, depending on the theme of your movie, the purpose of your movie, there's sure to be a title that you can use. So how do you use the titles? You can put a title on top of your clip. So if I just take one there and drag it on the top, those titles will appear on top of the clip. And I can move the in um, you know, across the clip so I could start the title towards the end of that clip or right at the beginning, by dragging it there, I can change the duration. So at the moment it's four seconds. So I could make that, by dragging this, I could make it a little less, so maybe 1.5 seconds. To delete it, you just click it and delete. Now you can also put titles on their own, so at the beginning or end of a section. So at the beginning of this movie on ballooning in Melbourne, I might want to have a title. So I could take this title here, to this one, click it and then drag it down and position it in front of the clip so everything moves to make room for it. Now this is on its own background, a black background. It's three seconds so again I can make it longer or shorter. It's got a transition after it which I'll delete. So how do you actually change the title text? Double click actually. And now I can replace the text. Now you can change the font, you can change the size, you can change the orientation, so centering it you know, right or left justified. I'll leave it on the left. And the only thing you can do with this one is turning on or outlining on or off. So there the, t the titles are in some ways preset, so I can't change to bold or italics. I've got, they're, they're grayed out. I can't touch them. Uh, I can change all these. I can change the size. I can change the text. The, I can change the font. So we put it into something else, say Curia. And if you wanted to use fonts from your computer, if you go towards the bottom there, you can see show fonts, which will show you the system fonts on your computer. So you can use those as well. So I'm going to change this and this is about ballooning. Let's spell it right. And I might want it a little bit bigger. Let's make it 146 and I'll leave it at that font and leave it at 3.4 seconds. Let's play it and it lasts for three seconds which is probably a little bit too long. So let's make that two seconds. And if you can't get it right, don't forget you've got the inspector where I can change the duration up there. It also tells me what I'm actually using. It's a text tool. And it still, it, it still needs a transition after it because it's a bit of a sharp cut after that title into the next clip. So I can put a transition, maybe just a cross dissolve. 
It's taken half a second off the title, so I'm going to put that back. And I might have one in the, the uh, beginning, so I'll fade to black before it. It's, again, it's taken off one second. So don't forget that, that transitions take time off your clip, whether that's text or a movie or an image. And so now it's got a, a transition between the clip and the title. Now, if you don't want a black background, you can put a different background on and put text over the top of that background. So I'm going to delete this one and put in a background. Now, let's forget the maps for the moment. That there are all these backgrounds that you can put text over the top of. Some just know plain colors, quite bright and vivid ones. So I could put an orange and then put text over the top of that. So I can go back to titles and select a different title this time. Put this one, drag it on the top of the background. Move that across. Then we'll move the playhead. Now it's orange, which is rather bright. Double click the text. Change that back to the title, ballooning. And again, I've got the, the choice of fonts. Pick a different one and pick a bold font. Um, I've got italics in this one. I've got outline, so I've got a few more options in this one. Um, let's turn the outline off and pick a different font so I don't like that one. Maybe this one. And uh, a size, so I can make it smaller. So that's as high as it'll go. Uh, you can't move it anywhere else. It, it, this is the font that I've selected, and this one is a font that's in the center. So I cannot move it up to the top, can't move it to the bottom. That title is for the center. If you wanted some text that was up at the bottom, then you've got to pick one that actually is up at the top left or top bottom. So no, the lower third on the top left there, if I change that, place it, and double click that. Uh, let's make it bigger, and I can use these to position it on the right or left. Now, I don't like the orange, so I can pick a different background. So rather than a bright color, you've got some of these moving backgrounds. Underwater. Curtain. Like an organic one, which isn't too bad. Uh, maybe an industrial one. So if I st uh, select, let's just select a gradient, and I want to replace the orange, when I drop that over the top, you get the replace. Do you want to replace that one or insert it so you've got two backgrounds? I want to replace it. So now we've got the black, which looks, if I turn that off, that doesn't look too bad when we scrub that. So to put a title on top, which we've already talked about, Maybe this one, drag this one on the top here, and I want this one to start there and perhaps not go for four seconds. Drag that in, double click it, and put in a title and a subtitle. This is ballooning in Melbourne in 2015. Don't like the fonts. You can change the font of both of them actually, so I'll change this one to something that's not as heavy. And again, you've got uh, limited choices. I can change the color of this one. Some of them you can't change the color, so maybe I'll change this one to yellow. You've got to change the color of both of them. Not all of them have those options. You can change that color. Uh, you can change that one. You can change different colors for that for that one. So again, it depends on the title as to what options you're given to change. So we put a transition between this one, just across dissolve, and have a look at that and play it. So you got the title comes in, and then the next one comes in. The next title, the subtitle comes in. Now, if you play around with the titles, you can do quite sophisticated things with them. For example, at the very end, 
Let's go to the end and put in some scrolling credits. And they go for 10 seconds. So I'm going to put a transition, uh, a cross dissolve, and let that play. Now you can put in the, um, when you click on that, double click it. Again, you can change your, your title. So this is, you know, Joe Black. And uh, Bob Brown. So once you put in all your credits or your, your cast or whatever, what you can also, and you can change the um, font. So it's in Gil Sans Blanc. You can make it bold, bolds off. You can make it italic. You can make the outline. So you can do a few things. You can change the color. So again, we could make it yellow or orange, perhaps. What you can also do is put in some images that come up as the credits are scrolling through. So I've got some photos, balloony, at the bottom here. And I want to take a photo and have the photo appear alongside the credits as it scrolls through. So I want that to be on the top as a picture in picture. So I change that to picture in picture and a dissolve. And probably not four seconds, so say two seconds. Here it is here, and I want it to click that. Let's go back and click it again. I want to move it probably where that yellow line is so they all stay the same. I want it to appear there. So as this scrolls, the picture will come up. And those pictures are going to be pictures of ballooning just so that, to reinforce the movie. So let's put another one in. Taking this one right next to the previous one for again two seconds. Picture in picture. Click it. And move that into the same position. So that when we now look at it, you get the picture coming up, and you get another picture coming up. We can make it bigger. We'll probably make it a bit bigger. I don't want to overwhelm the credit, so it's probably a small size. And if you can put borders on it. Shadows won't work on here. And a third one. Right next to it. Two seconds. Picture in picture, dissolve. We need to move that in the same position. And then a fourth one. Two seconds. Picture in picture. Same position. And then change that as credits to reflect that so when we play it the credits will start to scroll and then you'll get some pictures as well as those credits go through now you can't have them one under the other like four vertical pictures because you can only have one extra row of media so i can't have one this picture here then uh, then put this one on the top in iMovie it's not as sophisticated as final cut pro for example you can only do one layer so in this tutorial, we took a look at how to add titles and credits to your iMovie movie. That's all for this tutorial.